Okay. The uh, Arca series at Dover round two. We totally forgot to press record during the actual race. But I figure we can I love the all well. enjoy it in the, the outside part. view. Uh, this is essentially like driving through a minefield as the laps wind on with the uh oh guys that get in here that just uh, you can tell they uh, do not practice which That's you'll see you'll definitely see some of that in this race with uh some of the lap cars it's it turns into a nightmare at one point so our goal this race was to save save as much time as we could because last night we ran like a 3400 and got shit on like got gapped because we thought we were saving, but we were driving in way too deep, just destroying the tires. This race, we back down a lot. To save the tires. And we were three to four tenths faster a lap at the end than we were last night. Just by tire saving. Which we had... This is a hell of a race, though. It was fun between the top five until lap cars got in the way. But that two car there, he puts up fight towards the end. You're going to hear me come on and lose my shit twice during this. What are you doing? What are you doing? There's somebody already losing it. But I'm in the one car, the half black car. Go back to old Carl Edwards. See that that lap car, he was smart. He got down, you know, got down out of the way. So right now it looks like me and the four are driving in about the same, but we're not. He's he's, he's driving in way harder than me. That's why I'm down on the bottom. We're just gonna steadily stay towards the bottom. Get good drive off. Cause you think you're gonna destroy your right rear here, no matter how you drive it, but you don't. It's the right front that's going first. So like, he messed up there, but I didn't push the issue. I was, I was fine with just chilling. But it gets ugly here in a minute up here because of a lap car. But we'll say like usually the top guys are super competitive in this series, which makes it a lot of fun. You learn a lot by running against the, the really fast dudes. Like last night I went back and watched the replay of the guys that spanked me. That's where we learn. Just keep stay on the bottle. Just keep maintain a decent enough speed, but stay towards the bottom of the track. The Ford's driving that thing for everything he's got right now, and we're on cruise control, just rolling the bottom. I'm sorry, 13. I tried to check up. I will give it to the two. He makes a good, solid pass when this lap car deal goes down. Like, he was heads up smart on that. I think it's, a, yeah, it's Nick Olsen in the two. Mike, Mike Reeves in the four car right now. Just recording it this way because last race I thought I pressed the record button before it started. Uh, did, did not, so we're having to go back and re-record it so we can upload it. I drill the outside wall later on in this, like 
from the lap car deal. I thought for sure we were done after we hit the wall as hard as it, hard as it felt like from inside the car. Like, I don't know, it made it look like we barely touched it on this outside view. But when you're tire saving early in the run, and you can just see the guys catching you on entry, that's, a, that's the best thing you want to see. Because you know you're backing it up and saving that right front tire. That went down right there because from inside the cockpit, that dude looked like he was going to stay up high, but he got it back down. But here comes, here comes the fun stuff. And you're going to hear some cussing from me. So frustrated. I'm tire saving and thinking your race is ruined. Now the two car is a, uh, he's 4,400 out of I didn't even look to see what the four was, but I know Nick's like a 4,400. It's a pretty skilled driver. For you guys that are just starting on our racing or getting into the Arthur car, it's not all about leading every lap. Just manage your tires and stay close to the front. It's later in the race when these guys that are running hard drop off four tenths and you don't. It'll feel like you're flying then, but really you're just you're just running at normal speed. And you can play pickaboo with these dudes where you keep poking out, acting like you're gonna dive it in. And they'll run it in harder. So then you're, you know, they're running in hard. You're just backing off like normal. And this is a cluster down here. Because now he goes up, blocks the leader. Leader hits him, so I go high. I'm like, I'll just go up. Tuck it behind the four car. Dude? Hey, hey, Lonnie, you fucking retarded. Yeah, see, yeah. Uh, not, not one of my better moments there. <laughs> yeah, that was so stupid. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm killed everyone in about five. I racing might message me and be like, hey, you got some sensitivity training to do. He drove me straight into the outside wall. Technically, it yeah, dude, he slammed you. From, from the outside of the car, it looks like I could have came down more. But from the inside of the car, I thought he was right next to me. So I was just going up and up and up to get away from him. And here he is again. <laughs> get off the fucking track. Uh, not, not a highlight of my race for me there but heat of the moment we meant it like don't be on the track if you're yeah, in the car with us so now you see two cars got a good size lead you're good man Not cars and we plowed the outside wall two cars got a good size lead so i was like oh yeah, man maybe we'll, we'll just maintain second place for the race we'll we'll fine with that we can come out here in p2 after all that we're we're golden But I can tell he was, he's running super hard. We're still tire saving. Every time he slips, we gain. Keep gaining on him because he's driving the hell out of it. Now, he is a solid defensive driver. I'll give him that, a solid defense. Pressure. Oh, are we gonna go low? Oh, back off, let him run it in. We'll stay down. But he's got a 
He runs it in so deep, he's got to check up really hard to... It just looks like we're running the same speed, but we're not if you pull up the mile per hour. Didn't give me any room there. But I mean, that's his right. We're on the bottom. Our job is to stay on the bottom, not be a half a car lane up. So, couldn't be mad at him for it. I mean, he's racing for a win, so... My goal at this point is to try my best not to wreck him while passing him. But so sometimes you gotta be patient and just let the lap stick down to let his car get slower. We get him a few times with the peeking out and he drives it in hard. We peek out, he drives it in hard. situation you know that mirror is just completely full right now <laughs> steadily working on him peek out Back off. Let him drive in hard. Just suck right back up on him coming off the corner. Do it again. Just rinse and repeat. So, but those peak outs, we had no intention whatsoever of trying to pass him. It was just slowly make him run in and burn the right front tire up. Your veteran guys, like some of your higher ups, they won't fall for that. He gets loose again, we just gain right back to him again. It's the wall. He's running it in twice as hard to stay up there like that. Yeah, I turned down. I seen it and I turned down off the wall. We'd have both been wrecked right there if I didn't pay attention. That's how I was expecting him to come down right there and he stayed up, so I was shocked. I was like, I figured sure he was coming down the track. And because he did it the last corner, I decided to come down again. Now we know for sure, 100% right here, we're ahead of him. We have the better tires because we watched him burn his stuff up. So we just keep driving the same. Don't change the pace. much over at this point barring any lap traffic incidents as we know we have the better tires we're not running hard and we're still putting distance between us Five car wheel in effect there. Then it, tires are definitely starting to wear a little, but we never got a tire warning this race or anything. Last night we were down to 36% on the right front, learning how to drive it. And all, all you have to do when you get off front like this is just maintain the gap. Like, there's no need to try to like... I mean, at, at North Wilkesboro, yeah, we were winning by 8 and 9 seconds there, but that's just short track racing, you know? Like, 
you run the same speed there every single lap. As they fall off, you're gonna gap them. But here you can just back off and manage your gap. To ensure like if there's a late race restart or something like that, you have tire lift. But in this series, don't have to worry about that. It's built into your brain to do it. If you run the upper series. I wish all the series only gave you one set of tires though. Like that's all you need for a hundred lap run. One set. In the open series. Like you can come in. Change your tires once, halfway through the race. That's it, that's all you got for tires. It would definitely change the pace that people run their second runs at. And, wanna know how I saved the tires? I made a, start, a tire saving video on the cars I understand on how to save and the tracks I understand how to save tires like Charlotte I'm really good at saving the tires there here it took me one race of getting my ass kicked and then uh, watching the replay and learning I didn't realize last night when I was driving in and washing up as high as I was well, they were going in easy and still able to maintain the speed they were maintaining. I was just losing so much ground from washing up, thinking I was saving, and I definitely wasn't saving anything. Proper lap car right there. Got out of the way. Five and the four are having a, a battle back there. I'm on triples, so you're, you can't see everything I'm seeing. Are you trying to get three wide? That's why I let that lap car go, because he was driving like our mania. seen that lap car come back up on the track almost right in front of them. I appreciate the room for me. Should be getting close to the end now. I think we catch this yellow lap car in front of us right at the end of the race. There's one thing I'll do, like if, if I have enough of a gap, I'll, I'll back down some to try to keep from catching lap cars. I'd rather not, I'd rather not get wrecked. It, winning's winning, you don't gotta win by t 10, 12 seconds every race, you just gotta win. And like, if it's down to like ship. one or two laps to go, I don't wanna lap. You want five zero, though. I don't wanna lap the guy. Let him finish on lead lap. But he's, he's messing up a lot. So we're we're gaining on him fast, even though we're trying not to. Go wreck there, fucking quick. So that was the nine car telling the seven car that he was a better driver than him because he passed him. And then they, apparently they both about wrecked. Like, I didn't want to lap that guy. We were trying our best not to lap him. He just messed up too much. All he had to do was stay solid. He would have stayed on the lead lap. Then the 11 car let off just to let us by there at the end. And that's an ARCA win with Dover, you know? Hey, good win, David. Not a 
Awesome SOF, but it'll work. Thank you. I bet, considering I thought that last car was going to kill you. I thought we were dead after that, but I guess where we saved enough tire didn't, didn't hurt us. Yeah, yeah, nice recovery, brother. That was a good one. Yeah, come do some burnouts. That car that was leading for a bit, that dude put up a fight. Yeah, Matt Potts and Nick, his, his defensive was driving Nick, was, Nick was on point. Fight. Get the burnout, which this one's a lot harder to try to keep down the straightaway because it's so banked. It gets more and more banked as you go back towards the corner. Either way, if you like the content, subscribe, smash the like button. Uh, just gonna keep posting racing videos, trying to grow. I got a, I got a few ideas for some tutorials, um, especially towards guys that are just starting out, like things I wish I would have known when I started, and things I wish I wouldn't have done, because it took me a while my first year to get a win, and we just steadily got better and better as we went. This year is a little off. We usually maintain a 50 50 percent win percentage, but I think we're like 30 right now. Either way, appreciate it. Oh, man, I didn't even see that when I was in the race, the great race. Let's look at some of these laps. I don't know why I said running off. Look how slow we were running at the beginning. We are creeping. This is where it matters, though. Because like, you know, this is a lap car, lap car. But right here last night, we were like 25 eights and nines. We were able to hit a 5 on 41. That is That is solid right there. That's definitely a big improvement on tire saving. Either now I'm actually done. So if you like the content, smash the subscribe button, throw us a like on the video. That helps grow the channel. As always, catch you guys in the next one.